It's a very safe and warm environment. I think we actually have a very loving environment here. The staff are very supportive of the kids. Kids feel very welcome. We have a very diverse neighborhood, but I feel all of our kids feel welcome here. And the, the diversity that they represent is, is received by us in a real positive way. People from the neighborhood come here for all sorts of basic resources for elementary and child care and kid programs. Our center focuses a lot on youth programming. We have a tons of programming from like kids that go from age 6 to about 16. More recently we have taken on um, a lot of the Latino community. We have a gentleman named Baldazar who runs our Spanish computer classes and all of our Latino resources programs. I'm like a bridge between the parents and the staff. We have established a very good relationship between uh, you know, the community center with the parents. We realize there's a tons of needs that the Latino residents have and they can come to us and in their native language tell us some of the things that they'd like to have in the center. They do appreciate the fact that you know, there are people here who speak their language and not just speak their language but to understand who understands their culture. Our summer camp program is eight weeks long where kids are here from 9 to 4 every day. A regular day at summer camp at Vera Court is quite exhausting but exciting all at the same time. We, we start off in the morning with breakfast. After that we all go outside we do a, a morning meeting every day in which we recite the Vera Court Pledge, talk about what we'll be doing that day. Our kids will do lots of educational stuff while they're at the center and break into clubs, but then we often will have two days a week where we just go on field trips. So we try to make our field trips still wellness focused so the kids are out running around, learning new experiences, taking on things that they've never done, opportunities they wouldn't have in their normal households. PASS is an AmeriCorps program. PASS is Partners for After School Success, and our main mission is pretty narrow. We are um, committed to helping middle school and high school youth succeed academically. We spend a lot of time basically helping increase students' GPA, whether through direct tutoring, homework help, um, studying for tests. We also meet with kids to help them design and actually go on community service projects. Stuff that's going to help them develop into people that are productive and confident and leaders in their community. We've noticed that a lot more Vera Court kids are thinking about school after high school. A lot of Vera Court kids are going to college now, and that's something we can help them with. So I, I think we're trying to expose kids to a lot of different options once they're out of school. I can you know, look and say, you know, I had these kids from when they were in elementary school and I'm seeing them graduate successfully from high school and moving on to college. Our staff reflects our community. Six of our staff are from the community. So a parent, when, they offer, when their child comes here, they're going to see a lot of people like themselves. They're going to see a lot of people that speak their language, that are of their race. So I just wanted to do something where I could give back and I kind of found an outlet in Vera Court where I could do something working with kids, working with youth in a field that I thought was drastically important, education. It's a good place to work and you know it's, it's a very humanistic place and you know I think we, we like to and we love to serve the people. At Vera we really kind of see when it comes to kids there's like three parts and that's the community which is represented by the community center, there's the school, and there's the family. And if the three of us working together, the family, the school, and the center, uh, we can help support the kids. We're here to help your kids succeed in school.